When we talk about pitch design, a lot of the focus comes from the numbers that Trackman and Rapsodo spit out. But almost every good pitch design lab is set up with an Edgertronic high-speed camera. So what can you do with that, and why is it so important in this process? But before we jump into this, welcome back guys to another video. If you're new here and you're a coach, player, or trainer interested in learning more about the practical applications of data-driven baseball, you've come to the right place. Join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below for more weekly baseball animations. So, I myself am a big supporter of the Edgertronic camera. We have ours up and running in every single bullpen session we have. You can see in this picture, here I am standing right there. Right next to me you can see the Edgertronic camera. And when paired with the Rapsodo pitching unit, there's no better combination in the game when you're trying to work in pitch development. We've talked about this on the channel before, but what is an Edgertronic camera? Believe it or not, yes, this is a budget option of many of the top of the line high speed cameras out in the market currently. The company basically took all of the essentials out of those fancier cameras and broke it down into a smaller and more compact version. While to many this is still quite an investment, it reduces the price by almost 99%. So what is it? The Edgertronic is a high speed camera. It takes your real time footage and basically slows it down. For example, if you were to take a 5 second clip while capturing the footage on Edgertronic's maximum frame rate of about 18,000 frames per second, your 5 second video when played back at 30 frames per second would be about 3,000 seconds or 50 minutes long. Now for the most part, I am capturing footage between 800 and 1200 frames per second or sometimes even lower, which creates much more manageable videos. But it's still all pretty cool, right? With a fancy camera like this one, it's got to take some time to set up and get used to, right? Wrong. Edgetronic camera can be set up in less than a minute, and all you need to do is insert all of the attachments provided with the camera into the back panel of the camera, connect it via an ethernet cord or wireless router to any device, and then hop on into an internet browser, type in the IP address, and you're all set. The settings menu is then immediately opened up, and it's incredibly straightforward and easy to use. If you all would like a more advanced dive into the settings that I recommend here, let me know in the comments down below. From there, it's just lights, camera, action. The only manual portion of recording the footage is actually just pressing the external trigger when you'd like to record your video. Now there are a ton of applications of this technology. You can begin to use it to identify different pitch types and use this information to aid in the pitch design process. See how different grips affect your release point, how changing pressure in each finger affects the movement, the list goes on and on. And these videos are first immediately displayed on your mobile device right after the footage is recorded. So you're able to review this video live in the bullpen when making these adjustments. You can begin to create these videos over release point with some simple overlays. And that's just the beginning. Once you get real good at editing, you can create these simple motion trails for your pitches. You can begin to drive into slow motion mechanics and so much more. Purchasing this camera is just another gateway to a new world of opportunities. So what are you waiting for? Jump in and begin to change the game wherever you're at right now with an Edgertronic camera. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video or you just want to support the channel, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment with any questions or suggestions for a future video and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Wednesday.